that's what's happening with Canelo. But Canelo, to me, is the number one fighter in the world, pound for pound. You'll get arguments. I get that. Terence Crawford can't hold a candle to him in terms of opposition faced. Can't hold a candle to him. You know, at the end of the day, Canelo fought Golovkin, and people say he waited that out, but he still fought him when Golovkin was major league. I mean, Golovkin's still a champion today. Terence Crawford's number one opponent is Errol Spence and vice versa, and you can't get those guys in the ring. And that, to me, there's the guys that deserve the, uh, they deserve to, the, the negative criticism, not Canelo, who is, who is doing everything, in my opinion, that those guys haven't done. And Terence Crawford going out and beating Sean Porter, Fair enough, mate. Really, really good win. Really, really good win. Not great. Doesn't get you put in the same sentence as the Pantheon of Welterweights like Leonard or even Oscar. I mean, Oscar De La Hoya was fighting a super fight. I remember watching Oscar come up. Every time you turned round, Oscar had another super fight set up. Pernell Whitaker, straight on to Quarry. Quarry, straight on to Trinidad. Trinidad, straight on to Mosley. Different days. You don't see anything resembling that now. These guys want astronomical money. To, to get in the ring with each other that, to be quite frank, they've not earned yet. I know they work hard. I know they put their lives on the line, but you can't expect to ask for, like, whatever, 25, 30 million to fight each other um, when that money's not on the table. You've not done the right things to, to promote the fight. I could go out in the street right now and ask someone who Terence Crawford is, and they won't know. Right. You know when, right. when Floyd Mayweather fought Manny Pacquiao, everyone knew who, who those guys were, which is the reason they can claim it and save money. And Canelo is yeah. as, um, fair in saying that, like, Benavidez and Charlo, like, why aren't these guys, they, why aren't they fighting each other? You know what I mean? Absolutely. You can't fight everyone at once. He needs, he needs these guys to, to, to rise up and not just be begging for the Canelo sweepstakes. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, um, that's the problem right there, that they just want to hang around. There's a bit of a rumor you might get the fight, and then they'll hang around, and, and they'll look disappointing in a fight that they're, they're tipped to win. You know, they'll, they'll look disappointing in that fight. How, how are you going to build up a fight with Canelo by going 12 rounds with someone where you're a 6-1 to one or a 7-1 to favourite? You know, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. You're not, you're not doing the right things. The Pod Matrix.